All right, so this is a style challenge. Never done a video quite like it. I got a pair of shoes in, it's a pair of Nike Dunks. And honestly, I've heard a lot of people say that these are ugly. Certainly one of the more unique sneaker releases recently and a hard shoe to style. I have a few different ideas in mind, so I'm gonna show you the process, exactly what I'm thinking for how I'm gonna style these shoes. I'll show you like three or four different outfits. You can let me know which one you like best and how you're wearing this particular shoe. But anyway, let me show you guys exactly what I've got. You've seen them. You probably passed on them. You probably passed on them or you tried and you couldn't get them. So we've got Nike's newest collaboration with Bodega. This is not a review of the sneaker. We're not getting into details. We're not getting into inspiration. None of that stuff. I'm literally showing you guys how I plan on wearing them. That's all that matters. When I think of a typical pair of dunks, it's the collegiate color blocking, the standard you know, Kentucky blue and whites, the Syracuse, the orange and white, the Michigan blue and yellow. Not this. This really is nothing that I think of when it comes to a dunk. So Bodega, they're known for going left as far as design goes, and that's exactly what they did with this. But anyway, let's dive into it. I'll show you how I plan on tackling this particular shoe. Let me know if you guys enjoy this style video. Let's roll. All right, so first things first, we gotta do a little lace swap action. I mean, these are fine. It's a waxed lace done in brown. The entire shoe is pretty much an earth tone, you know, with off-white, dark brown, light brown, and black. Little hit of red. So what I'm gonna do is play off that red and swap the laces. Got some bread ones here. Not the most recent retro, the ones before that. I wanna say 13. 2014 maybe, somebody help me out. Dunks and Jordan 1s, as you know, have a similar cut. So Jordan 1 laces should fit in here just fine. I love color hits with earth tones. I feel like it sets the whole shoe off, gives it a totally different look, but unfortunately, these are your only two lace options. One huge style tip, in my opinion, is to not be afraid to swap the laces. Who cares what color laces they come with and what ones you should wear with the shoe. There's no right or wrong for what color laces you should wear with these. You know, if anything, it's another way to show your creativity or switch things up. You don't have to use the default laces that they give you. Switch some things up. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Throw some bread laces up in here. All right, so as you can see, I've got a bunch of different things laid out here. I just went into my closet, grabbed random stuff that I thought would go well with these shoes. I may grab a few different things throughout this process, but this is what I had in mind. You know, earth tones, a little bit of red. This is nothing fancy, nothing really planned out. Just grabbing random stuff, gonna throw it on. Like this would typically be somewhat similar to the process I would have with wearing an outfit, not this laid out. But you know, I would try on a couple different things, see what works best. Got some pants, jackets, hoodies, hats, all that, let's do it. Okay, first outfit, got a forest green hoodie paired with some blue lighter wash denim and then obviously the Bodega Dunks. So no matching going on right now, currently. This is certainly not a matchy matchy type outfit. It's straightforward, but the colors go well together because they're all earth tones. So as it is, I think this outfit would look really good, but I grabbed this jacket, which is kind of like a dark leaf brown type overcoat. I think the jacket kind of ties everything together. It's just one more piece. And this is typically how I approach outfits, where the outerwear is kind of the last thing that I throw on. You know, I start with the shoes, usually, not always, but usually start with the shoes and then I build up. I haven't been wearing a lot of top coats recently, but when I buy one, I keep it in my closet. Top coats aren't gonna go out of style. You know, they're not as trendy as they were two or three years ago, but they're classic, and I'm always gonna have a few in my closet. Okay, so by the way, this is a Wynn University sweatshirt, one of the first hoodies 
I ever did. The jeans are from Everlane, and then this jacket is from Frank and Oak. I'll do my best to link this stuff for you guys in the description. Okay, next up, we got something a little bit funky, but I like this one a lot. Typically, when I'm picking out an outfit, I start with the statement piece first. Obviously, the statement piece with this one is the jacket. Most of the time, it's the shoes. So I've got this jacket, and because it's a little bit flashy, you know, everything else I kind of want to be toned down. But for the most part, I'm playing off of this jacket. This is from Double RL, Ralph Lauren. The jeans are John Elliott cast to denim, and then the hoodie is from Everlane. The fitted is Arizona Diamondbacks, and I thought it would be cool to play off the Aztec print in the jacket with the hat because it's in the Arizona logo. The poppin' color with this entire outfit is the red. You've got it in the laces, a little bit in the jacket, and then a little bit in the hat as well. It's just an accent color. I love to choose an accent color and play off that. So I really like this outfit a lot, mainly because of the jacket. It's just different. It's not something I typically wear. It's a little bit cropped. So you can still see that black on black with the jeans and the hoodie. It fits just like a denim jacket would. The John Elliott jeans have a little bit of a gray wash to them. They're not just a straightforward jet black. And I don't know, you know, I have jet black denim. Not sure which one would look better, but just going with these. Okay, next up, this is a really good New England style outfit in my opinion. Certainly other places dress like this, but for the most part, New England area where Bodega is, Bodega's in Boston if you didn't know that, you'll see people in outfits a little bit like this. We got a Carhartt flannel, same John Elliott denim, the dunks, and then a Boston hat. And I like this one so much. This is, this is very much me. Not trying too hard. I love Carhartt stuff, I love flannels. That's the look you get. Pairing a Red Sox hat with the Bodega Dunks just feels right. We've got a Carhartt fleece lined flannel. So if you don't have one of these, great shirt. They run oversized, keep that in mind. Like this is a medium. I'm typically a large, had to size down for the Carhartt stuff. And just for reference, I'm 6'2", 185, and my true size is typically large in tops, 34 waist, 11 and a half shoes, if that helps anyone out. A lot of times I won't pair navy with a black or a dark gray, which is what I've got here, but whatever. There's a little bit of red behind the flaps of these dunks, by the way. I'm kind of letting them show, kind of giving that SB type vibe a little bit. You can certainly lace yours through those flaps, but me, Kind of like them showing a little bit. So the red you get from behind those flaps, the laces, and then the red of the flannel, coordination. Okay, and then last up, we have an outfit somewhat similar to the first. And by the way, if you wanna see how I style other sneakers and everything else, follow me on Instagram. I'm at Eddie Wayne Kicks. I post there pretty often. But this outfit, lighter. That's exactly what I had in mind. I'm like, all right, light colors, gonna play off of the off-white cream tone that is on the toe box of this shoe. So for the jeans, I've got a lighter wash pair of 510 Levi's. This is probably the lightest wash that I own. And then I've got a Made in Canada Wind Collection hoodie, my own, and then up top, this hat. This is just a forest green strap back souvenir hat. I visited Mount Washington a little while ago and I picked up this hat. When you guys travel places, I know things are a little bit weird right now, but this summer or this fall, if you're traveling anywhere, grab a hoodie, grab a t-shirt, grab a hat, and incorporate it into your outfits. Not everything has to be streetwear, not everything has to be menswear. Definitely grab some random hats. It's, it's different, you know. You wouldn't expect me to be wearing a Mount Washington hat with these Bodega Dunks, but here I am, it works. A lot of natural tones going on here again, nothing too crazy, but I'm gonna spice it up a little bit. So a nice curveball with this outfit is to throw on this cashmere top coat in a light tan. Again, it continues that all light look. I'll tell you this, a lot of people are afraid to wear lighter colors in the winter, don't be. And also, don't be afraid to throw it all on together. You know, when I look at this, I'm like, all right, that's a lot of light color. I don't know if it's gonna work, but because I've worn it before, I know that it's gonna go. I love dressing down top coats and I love dressing up hoodies. Think about that. Great combination 
in my opinion. You can make either one go either way. Together, they are magic. I almost won't wear a top coat unless there's a hoodie underneath it. It's gotta be like a pretty classy situation. So there you go. Let me know which outfit you guys liked best down in the comment section. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Leave that like for your boy one time. Subscribe if you're new. A lot more content is on the way. Thank you guys for checking it out. I'll catch you next time. Peace.